hello guys welcome for one more video this today I will be replacing the roof shade on my uh, 2013 Cadillac SRX uh, I'm gonna show you what do I have now <clears throat> this is a, a problem that happens with this car you know sometimes uh, the shade goes bad and it hangs on the side it hangs like that so I'll be replacing it so stay with me and I'm gonna show you how you replace it so first we have to lower the seat and we're gonna be removing the side trims the column trim in the front so we can we have to remove the we have to remove the handles so we can lower the roof liner so we have access to where the shade goes So we're going to start by removing this rubber seal. You just got to pull it. I see some glue here. Okay, that's fine. You can leave the bottom. Let's move it out of the way. I left my car running just because he's, it's Florida and it's really hot in here. As you see, a lot of debris, debris fell on the, on the carpet. So it's a good idea to have something covering before you're removing this trip. Do have to remove the bottom part first, okay? If you like to do work yourself, I recommend you to get a set of uh, prying tool. I got this at Harbor Freight really cheap. All you have to do is you start from the front, move your seat back forward all the way. Then you start removing the black trim from the top. Just open up the seal, pop it off, tie it off. Okay. Come through the other side, pop it off. So you pop the top off, now you just pull up okay so one little clip came off 
which is here just keep eye on them they like to fly off so after you do that you have you have to remove the airbag the airbag tag So I believe this is a uh, six or seven millimeters. I don't have millimeters. Um, I'm using nine thirty seconds. I believe it's a nine thirty second. Be careful not not to drop it back there. As is, it's off. So the good thing about these little sockets is that they have a magnet that helps holding it. So after that's off, you pull it out from the top and up. So here you have two clips. One is up, the other one is back. You see it when you look at it. Just leave it down there. Now we're gonna turn to this side. There's another, another airbag tag right here. Hope you can see it. Okay. Take this off. And you have another small screw. T40, remove this, the Torx 40, remove this clip, pull it from the back, and then you just gotta pull it out like that. You don't need to pull completely out, just leave it like that. That's fine. Okay. Now, as my other pry tool, tool, this little pry tool kit is very useful. So, under here. Just lift this up. Okay. Lift it up. Then there is a clip. I'll show you. Right down there, there is a clip. Right there. A shiny one. Okay. So, you just gotta pry between this top piece and this bottom piece try it see that clip came off cool so now you take that off you 
can see a clip right there. So see that goes up. So just lift it up until that comes off a little bit. That's it. Just so you can take this one out. This one is the one that we need to take it off. Okay. Just pry it out. careful these clips they like to come off okay after you pull this little tab out you just pull it up like up this way out and that out and that way okay then you have another clip right here pop it off okay this whole bottom comes out together so go up now let me put this back it goes right there so let's go to the other side careful <clears throat> okay now we're gonna keep pulling Stop out, 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 pull it out. So come over here, pull it out. Always pull out on top first. Okay. After you pull the top, then you pull it up. Because you see how the clip goes? Okay, keep pulling out and up. So this one you pull it, pull this in to release the, the little hook, this little ring, and it's completely out. Put it on the side. Okay, now the top. gotta kind of pull it downwards okay Just. okay see so that is a clip there clip here clip here clip okay that's what out go out this way and there's one more on the other side up here out and it's off so now you have the wire for this little light just just press right here Okay, to remove this wire, you will press right here on the side, right there. Press and pull it out. And this is off, just lay it over there. Also need to remove the handle. This clip. Okay, let's pull this 
this out. Here. Pull it out. Pull it out. It's two caps. And then we have two, um, I believe it's seven millimeters. Or you can just use five sixteenths. So five sixteenths works perfectly. Okay, one, two. I'll just put straight out. What I like to do is stick it right there so you don't lose it, you don't mix it. Now I'll just pull this out, unplug this wire, which is really easy. There's a little clip that you lift it up, you lift this up, and you pull the wire off. Okay, so now same now you repeat the same thing on both sides. Make sure that you remove this hanger holder on both sides. Now it should be good just to pry the, the the liner, the roof liner off. Take a look at it. Okay. Let's see. So I recommend to use this pry tool. You can just stick it right there, okay, between the clip and the, the car, and just pry it right out. Okay. come off just put them back here ah oh, this one's full of glow okay take this little so glue off and put it right there so there are a couple wires you have to unplug so here you have the first one which looks like it's the windshield. Just press it, press and pull out. That's the windshield washer. Okay. <clears throat> then you have this foam, pull it out. Then you have more wire here. Press, pull it out. Another one here. Press, pull it out.
right there. Now there's a clip. There's a clip back here. I have to press. Alright. Let's keep pulling this down. Always paying attention where the clips are. Okay. Velcro. You have Velcro around here. And you have clips here. You don't need to take the whole liner off. You just gotta take enough. the liner you will you will go down enough okay so the way these clips work let me show you here you can see the clips see just pull it down in this case I pull I pulled out and the clip still there you can just take it off. And put it back there. Same thing here. Take it off. Okay, if this clip comes off, like this one did, the easiest way to take this out of the, this track is slide it all the way back and it comes right out through the back. Put it back there. Okay. So which way does it go? You can see it. Okay, so this side goes that way, and you just slide it in like that. Okay, so that's lower enough to have access to the shade. So, the shade is this, this whole assembly needs to come off, okay, we have some T5 screws, one here, um, 
another one here. Here, small Torx screws. Another one here, another one here, and that's it. So one, two, three, four, five. Looks like there are five. Well, let's take them off. T five, I mean. Maybe. Um, that's a T twenty. Okay, that's a T twenty. Let's take it off. Those are the motors. So now let me move it back. Okay, this is a really tricky part. The way you remove this clip. without breaking it it's gonna be like this so you get a pry tool something stick right there and just pry it out and it's gonna come through the back like that okay and you got a new clip for your new for your new shape So now, now that we have this old shade, <clears throat> we're going to have to remove it and replace it. Let's see if I can fetch my camera right here. So this new shade is a clip over here. You have to open up and pull it up. That's one side. On the other side you have a screw. Just take it off. It's a T20. It's a little T20. You lift it up and it comes right off. This is garbage. You want this clip, you want this clip facing up at the same time that this one is facing up. Otherwise you can't put the screw. So 
So now you can click it right here. Put it right there. And put the screw on the other side. So now what we have to do is mount it back up there. You put your passenger side first, you stick assembly, you go above the spider first, then you go above the spider, then you spider above the spider, then you go above the spider, then you bring 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 the spider,
with the canvas attached to it, it goes from the back and you slide in this way. You slide in, you slide in, and you push it in all the way, but with the canvas connected to it. So I have one hand, that's why I can't do it. So let me do it, you see what I'm talking about. Since it now it's it's connected, as you can see, it's a little hard to push in. To first push in, there's a little clip in there. You gotta push really really hard. So after it's done, you just fold it, fold it again, and you see that that's gonna go in there. This one's gonna go here. Just fold it. And push it in push it in you clip in so now it's on you see the canvas is out right here so make sure the canvas is going inside okay now that it's in this is how it should look like all that we have to do is put everything back together in the same order 